In this video, I'm going to show you how to do fast product research for Amazon dropshipping. And in this case, I'm going to use software, which actually scans items from quite a number of suppliers, such as Walmart, Overstock, and Home Depot. And then I'm going to use an Excel system I created to help calculate out the ROIs on those items. So the first thing I'll do is actually go to Overstock. And the first thing you need to do is pull a category from the supplier. And in this case, I'm going to use kitchen and dinnerware sets, which I'll open up. And that brings me to this page. So once you pull up a page that actually has a list of products, I'll go ahead and click on the software, which by the way, will be provided as a link in the description of this video. So now that it finished scanning the items, you have this list of product information, which I'll just go over quickly. So you have the source picture and you have the picture on Amazon. You have your links to the items at the source and Amazon. You have the pr source price is actually the total cost of the item, including tax and shipping. They assume 8% for tax. And then you have the price on Amazon, the buy box price. And you have the price of the lowest FBA seller and fulfilled by merchant seller. And as a fulfilled by merchant seller, if you wish, what you can do is actually click here and you can simply uncheck the FBA if you all you want to see is the F fulfilled by merchant. Um, that's up to you. And then I would have to close this and just quickly reopen the window. And what we're going to look at now is the profit and the rank. If you're trying to go more for items that have a higher dollar amount profit, you might sort this from highest profit to low profit. Or if you're simply trying to find things that have a lower rank, which means generally that they're uh, selling faster, you can do that too. But if you do that, a lot of times the, the items with the very low ranks might not have a good profit. All right, or the profit might be negative. So I might sort from highest profit just to make sure I'm getting positive profits. And at this point, you, you do need to go through some of these items. So we'll just go through a few. I'm going to kind of hand pick a few that look like they match right off the bat because sometimes the color might be different or something might be different. And in this case, these two items are exactly the same. So I'm going to click on the link at Overstock and then I will go back, click on the Amazon link as well. And the first thing you want to do, at a glance we see that the items are the same, but the first thing you wanna make sure of is that you can actually sell it so I'm going to scroll down, click on sell on Amazon to make sure I can sell it. If this comes up, I'm allowed to sell the item. So now we'll go back to the item. Oh, actually go back to the item on Amazon. Sorry about that. Okay, you see according to this software, Ace Inspector, it's one each two months, which is based on the rank. However, what you're looking at is that it has a good price difference. So that means you'll have space to bring down the price and get a sale. So if you want, you can also use my Amazon dropshipping calculator here where you can simply punch in the numbers and it will tell you the profit that you can expect to receive on this item. For the sake of time, I'm actually going to skip over that step in this case, but that's something you can do as well. Now, um, once you find an item like that, if you decide that this is an item you want to try to sell, you can go ahead and click this plus button and that will add the item to your buy list. So when you go to buy list, you'll see that the item is on that list. Then I'm going to go back to products and scroll down and see if I can find another one. I would like to build a short list of say about three items. So I'm going to look for things that look like they're the same and quickly build a fast list so I can show you what to do next. So here's the item again on overstock. And again, here's the item on Amazon. So really, the power of this software, the way I see it, is the fact that you can so quickly match the item from supplier to Amazon, right? Now, sometimes they're not exactly the same, so you do need to really look because there might be a different color or something. So in this case, I see that the trimming is different on these plates from those plates. So I would immediately close those out because this is a fast method, so I wouldn't want to spend a lot of time trying to f figure out where it really comes from right now. So what I'll do is try this item where these two look a little more similar. I'm going to click this overstock item here as well as the Amazon link here. And at a glance, these really appear to be a lot more the same. They're both 16 piece set, 16 piece dinnerware set, right? It's basically an identical picture. You can always take your time. I usually take a little more time than this 
to go through it, but sometimes it's just really obvious that it's the same. And again, if you don't know this brand, you need to make sure you can sell it. So you click on sell on Amazon. And again, we're very lucky we're able to sell this brand as well. Okay, and according to the software, the profit is positive. It was actually slightly negative. However, being that it's so slightly negative with cashback, a cashback program, it might actually be positive. So I'll take this opportunity to show you the calculator. What I'll do is I'll punch in the price at Overstock, which is 5804 for one unit. And then on Amazon, the item goes for 7463, right? Also want to see who's selling the item. That's always a good idea as well. And I don't want to see Amazon selling it. I want to see other normal sellers like myself. So I see that. Okay. Um, 7463. So I'm going to go back to the calculator. Now, first of all, I have to put some tax. I like to use really high tax, which is like the worst case tax, just in case. So I do see that there's a slight loss here at this price of 7463. It's below break even. And I'll provide a link to this calculator as well. But if you have a cashback program, if you're in the US, you can use this Shop Smarter. It gives you 10% cashback at Overstock, Walmart, Home Depot, and lots of other major stores. So if you're getting that kind of cashback, you could put that in here as the portal, which means the website. And you will get 10% of the subtotal, which is 580. So you're still gonna end up with profit. You see the markup, which is the ROI, 8.46% total. 7.24% total margin, right? $5.40 profit. So this could be profitable. Even if at, even if you have a 2% cash back from this site, like Rake It In, which works completely by PayPal. So for those who can't do Shop Smarter, you can do Rake It In perhaps and get 2% cash back right now. This can change. You might still end up with a very small profit, but some kind of profit. So again, these are just examples. I'm doing this a little faster for the sake of time, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add this, but you can take your time finding an item that is more suitable to you. I'm just trying to build a list right now for the sake of the video, okay? So I'm gonna close these two out. I don't need them. I'm gonna go back and find one more match, at least one more. I see this one on Overstock. It looks the same on Amazon and there's a price difference, but it's very slight. In fact, here the profit is negative. Okay, so actually I'm looking at negative profits, and that's minus six ninety nine to me. That's that's getting a little hefty. So commonly, normally you want to look for the positive uh, profits, but sometimes a small negative a small negative can still be a positive. So you can check into it. Okay, so for the sake of the video, I'm going to quite possibly just stop with that because of course the profits are gonna get more negative. So we'll work with just these two items. And now, of course, if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and list these items using whatever procedure you use. This video, what I'm gonna show you is that you can actually download this data. And let me explain something. The profit here is calculated, but it's calculated based on their tax of 8%, right? And um, that's how they calculate the tax. So you may and and again this is only two products but if you had a list of 20 products here you might actually want to download these potentially to excel and if you did download them to excel what you could do is download this excel sheet i created and again this is only two items so it might not seem like it makes sense but if you have 20 items this would make a lot more sense and you're going to go to the data analyzer that I created and you're going to paste it okay let me undo that sorry you need to actually copy that table as I just did but you need to paste it right here in a1 and I already set this up to match up with their data file so I have the columns matched up with theirs so when you paste it though the magic actually happens over here so over here in this section what I did is I have the Amazon link which is just being pulled from there actual from the ASIN and I have the source over here so when you click AMZ it will open on Amazon when you click source it will open the source item but I created this so that you could change a few things for instance the number of units if this were a two pack 
let's say it was a two pack on Amazon, but it was only a single pack at your source. Well, then you would have to buy two units to fill that order. So then you would have to put two units here per order, right? Instead of one unit from the source. So number of units means how many units are you buying from the source, which would give you a different cost, right? So the software cannot do that. That's what I was saying when I said that you have to, the Excel system allows you to program it for your particular situation. Also, they use 8% tax. You might be tax exempt. You might have 0% tax at the supplier. Or you, for whatever reason, might have some different tax number that you want to use. So, for instance, I like to use 10%, so I'm going to use 10% for these items. If you want to use the same thing, say 0%, you can just do that and just copy it all the way down with a double click. Right? I'm going to undo that, put back the 10%. But what this is doing is recalculating the cost of supply according to my units, how many units I'm buying, and the tax that I want. So now I have my cost of supply, and now I, it recalculates the profit accordingly. Okay, it's still using their price, right? It's still using their price because when you download it, they don't give you the total. What they do is they, when you download it, it breaks it down into the price, the shipping, and the, and, and the tax. I'm not using the tax. What I do is I just use the, their price, I use their shipping, which is I and J, and that's how I calculate the cost of supply. So I take their I, which is their price, I multiply it by the number of units, I add in the uh, J, which is the shipping as well, that gives me the total, I multiply it by 1 plus the tax, which means add 10% tax onto the amount, and this is how I get my cost of supply of 56.91. Right, their original price is forty six seventy nine. Their shipping is four fifty nine. Okay, using my own numbers. Then the profit for fulfilled by merchant. I don't want the FBA. I'm drop shipping. This is fulfilled by merchant. So I only take out the Amazon fee. They have the fee there, so I go ahead and subtract the fee as well. And then we have the fulfilled by merchant ROI, the return on the investment which is something that they tell you but it, again it's not going to be the same if they're using their own tax so you want to see what the ROI really is with your own numbers and this is what it is it's actually 5.8 percent here we have minus 2.2 percent remember this is initial this is before cashback something I could add for the future I do you do cashback as well but not here now if you want to do the cashback calculation that's you'll go into my Excel system my Amazon dropship and Excel system and I have a section after you fill in your supplier information your price your units and calculate your subtotal you put in your percent tax it calculates your cost then you can put in your cashback it will if you put the card percent it will calculate the total cashback on your total cost the portal the website uses subtotal okay that's how they work they take the unit price they give you cashback on that my Excel system completely will completely calculates that for you. It's all calculated and gets added in as total cash back. I calculate the break even here for you. You put in the, the Amazon percent fee, your price on Amazon. You put all that stuff in and everything is calculated for you. So if you wanted, um, if you decide that you're going to try to list the item, at that point you can then fill in your information and see what how much you're going to make with the cash back. If you want to know more quickly, use my Amazon drop shipping one item profit calculator so that you can immediately calculate in the cash back on the item right away. If you want to just do it very quickly just to see in front of you. But if you've decided you're going to list it, I suggest using my Amazon drop shipping Excel system, which is right here. Okay, so that's basically how it works now. With the analyzer, the beauty of this again is that if you had 20 items here, you would be able to sort it. So if you were to put in your tax and your units and you wanted to see largest, you could do largest to smallest of ROI. You would, if you don't want the false, false is because these are empty. You will simply go back to the filter, turn off the false, click OK, and the false one, the falses are gone mostly. Right, and that gives you again high slow. So if you wanted to sort by rank, you could do that too, right? By smallest to largest. So this will give you by you putting it into this Excel sheet, this will give you some different options that you can do.
for um, sorting out these products and again calculating your exact profit and ROI. So that is basically my fast product research for Amazon solution using both this software OA Genius with the Gravity Source extension as well as uh, an Excel system that I created to help sort through results Excel sheet and then of course I have this Excel system which is for your products orders refunds for those of you who have not uh, who are new to my resources uh, this is something you can download as well so I hope this video was helpful do go through sign up for the free trial at least so that you can start using it you, you can see how nice it is time saving it is to be able to go straight to a category on a, a website like Overstock and so quickly get the results the product results and also uh, make sure you again click the link to download the Excel sheet that goes with this as well as the Excel system and see the link for the Amazon dropshipping calculator if you have any comments suggestions or questions please leave them below this is Mr. Mark and I'll see you in another video